All Things Reviews, and today we have a brand new video. So today we're going to be reviewing this car air pump. It comes from Amazon, as you can see, this is what the box looks like. So in further detail, we're essentially going to open it up, give you some use case, and just kind of show you all the product specifications, everything like that. And then at the end, give you kind of a review. So there's also going to be a tutorial, so make sure to stick around to the end, make sure to share. And without further ado though, let me actually present you the information and the item. So just off the bat, as you can see, it has this car air pump right here, car air pump right here, model CZK3690 corded and corded dual use as you can see there's three different modes for this car air pump now what would a situation like this be good for so say you have something that needs to be inflated so it doesn't even need to be a car because this is an air inflator so you could think about something like a wheelbarrow maybe a riding mower maybe you have a skid steer maybe you have anything else that is on wheels this would be perfect for you so you could have it around the house or handy inside the car so as you can see, there's a flap right here, three sides that open it up from one side to the other. And this is kind of what it looks like inside the product. So when I got in, when it came shipped, it was in a sturdy package. Everything was nicely and neatly organized. As you can see right here, you have in multiple different languages, the user manual, product description, and it is in two different languages. I don't know what this language is, I apologize, but I do know what this language is in. This kind of rough explanation of everything, we're gonna put this to the side and actually open up the main piece right here. As you can see, it comes in this sort of plastic bag. And once you take it out of the plastic bag, it has a storage space right here. So you can see car air pump. You can see the many different modes and buttons that it carries with it. And you can see right here, it even has a light, USB, USB-C, and the place where to the actual tire inflation. You can see an LED sensor, or sensor right here with plus minus for pressure, cycle, and a little bit more of some operation. Opening this now, you can kind of see to the side, you actually have the input source, which is gonna be cigarette lighter from your car, and a hole right here, which, coincides with on the bottom but we'll, we'll get to that in a bit furthermore there's a little bit of some other stuff as you can see you have USB-C cable and you actually have the contraption to inflate the tires the actual mechanism and there's a little bit more stuff so after that you get this little storage baggie that you can store everything in and this package right here of little different nozzles and stuff like that they can attach so in short i don't actually have this charge but i'm gonna show you kind of ways and how to charge it so the only thing i want to do first is actually just show you regardless of how you charge the first mechanism you can see it has this nice little braided black cable all the way down the line for the wiring this black end is the end where you want to connect all of your sorts of accessories here and then this orange end coincides with at the top where these lights and stuff are this orange end and the way this works is you just get it in and you just screw like so until it is in place and then you're ready for this so the way this works is you screw one direction and you'll know when it gets loose you take it away when it gets tighter you use the opposite direction so there's only two directions you can use and you just have to go slowly until it pops out as you can see like so and then it's ready to pop out once you have it out as you can see you're ready for new accessories and then you have quite a few so these are considered air nozzles and these are ball needles because there's a corded and cordless system. So there's two different modes of charging and we'll go into them as well. But first step from the actual car. Second step, this USB-C that you use and you can just connect anywhere and it will start charging for you to actually have the system. So this is the reset tire pressure set up and down power on. So we're going to actually charge this up. As you can see, it has a battery LED indicator to tell you what the battery percentage is. So to turn it on and off, you long press the power button for one, two to three seconds. As you can see right here, 
Now you have everything set up, PSI, bar, everything like that. So as you can see, you'll do your standard bike, 32, 33, 34, 36, which is for cars. And then this is the light. So as you can see, the LED light, in case you need it. And one more time to turn it off and it's pretty loud so you can set it say you want so then you just can choose your different type of nozzles essentially so if you just need something to clean up or you know some sort of residue as well it can kind of double down as a different feature now i don't know what the maximum is however as you can see you just pretty much Set it to whatever you need, and then if you want to just reset it, you just have to click this reset button and hold it. So there's a lot of cool features. There's five key operations, inflation, click lead, lows, noise at work, LED lights, preset tire pressure, small size, and easy to store. So you can see this carrying case, you can kind of take everything at once. As long as you take this apart, you can kind of have all your goodies in one little basket. And this is kind of what it looks like. Taking everything apart, you can see it all fits in this one little safe and convenient bag. So now kind of next, let's actually put some real world tests to it and give you kind of an example of what everything looks like. So for this tutorial, part of it you can see flat as can be. There's a lawnmower riding tractor as you can see all right there. So first step, take this. Second step, take this. You're going to want to screw this yellow onto this yellow. Next step, you want to power it on. Press the power button for three long seconds until it shows up. So this isn't a car necessarily, so you're going to want to do whatever PSI for whatever item. But then the third step, and I put this light on, by the way, so you can see. Sorry, this is a little messy. I haven't used this guy in a while, so he got deflated. But I don't want to unscrew the cap and then screw the actual pressure thing onto it until you hear, yeah, that juicy, juicy sound. Then next step, you're going to want to press the power button until it starts inflating to a level that you're happy with. And then if you don't know which one it is, you can keep adjusting it up and down. So sometimes it will flatten out to zero. So you just press the plus minus. And then you kind of know. So as you can see, it is starting to inflate. And once it's actually at the number that you want, it will be finished. So you can see it's at 5 to apply right now. Just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to put it to 10, just so you can kind of see what that looks like. Now, do actually the right amount for you, this is just for product demonstration. So it's at 6 right now, 8.5, alright, 9. is the desired amount 10 it fully stops and as you can see this guy is good to go so this riding mower takes about 10 and then for the next step you're just going to want to put it back up and as you can see it'll let you know when it's finished back to brand new so well, let's just do it on all of these this one takes a little bit more but you can see easy and simple to use and it even comes with the light so for this next part you want to make sure right here in the cigarette and you can see same type of process applied it's kind of looking at everything and giving you objective feedback what do i think well i think this is a very versatile object of course you have two different forms of actually charging you have an adjustment it goes to a lot of psi i don't know what the max is However, I put it at 80 and it was still going. So 
this thing can more than handle whatever you need. Easy way to reset the tire pressure, you can set your own new tire pressure. It will automatically finish when done, so you don't have to think about nothing. And it gives you a sensor and a radar. So it gives you everything that you need for even a total beginner. It's portable, it's modular, it's a nice size. They think about everything for you. You get two different forms of pump. If you need it for a ball or something, you're basically your mobile mechanic. If you didn't see any of my jump starter videos, pair it with this and you don't have to worry about flat tires or a dead battery. You're gonna be able to take care of yourself just fine with the jack. You're like a mobile mechanic essentially. So I would definitely recommend it, especially at the price point, 30 something dollars. I would highly recommend it. So I'm going to put a link down below if you want to purchase this for yourself. I give this a nine and a half out of 10. This is a beautifully working product. Everything is intended. And, you know, as you can see with the tutorials, it took care of all my worries. So all things reviews. This is the car air pump model CZK 3690. If you have anything you'd want me to review, write me a message. Or if you just have anything you want to say yourself, just send me a comment and I'll try to review that. All right, all things reviews until next week. Take care and bye-bye.